Hiya fam, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day. It's reaction time. We're back with more House of the Dragon. It's the last episode of the season, The Black Queen. The Black Queen, guys. Let's get into this. Let's watch this. Let's see how this whole thing escalates. I expect a massive cliffhanger. I'd imagine you will be getting one there. <laughs> if the lines weren't drawn before, they sure as hell are now. Can't wait to see what happens. Enjoy, yeah. fam. I don't want Driftmark. It should have passed on to Sir Vaymond. We don't choose our destiny, Luke. It chooses us. Too late now. She's right, though. Not like you. Not so perfect. I am anything but. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Princess Rhaenys has just arrived on Dragonback. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Here it comes. Viserys is dead. Your father possessed a kind heart. Aegon has been crowned as his successor. They crowned him. As they intended to. The High Septon crowned Aegon in the dragon pit. The war of a queen murdered my brother and stole his throne and you could have burned them all free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That war is not mine to begin. No, but you could have finished it. The Greens are coming for you, Rhaenyra. And for your children. They can try. You should leave Dragonstone at once. And go where? I don't know. <laughs> don't tell me she's about to give birth, too. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All the stress is causing complications. This should not be happening. It is fucking happening. Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. There's a lot going on there right now. Jeez, mm -hmm. Poor girl. We don't have enough men to surround the island, but we can make ourselves appear stronger than they are. That's an odd meeting to be having right now. I say it's going to be disheartening to hear the queen. Yeah. yeah. It's not phasing him at all. He wants battle. Yeah. Your grandson, King Viserys, has passed. Viserys? The Greens have repudiated the succession and claimed the Iron Throne. Yeah, they did. Usurpers. Whatever claim remains to me, you are now its heir. Naught is to be done but by my command. There you go. Now's the time to be a man. Time to grow up. Childhood's over. This war's coming for you, whether you like it or not. Oh, yeah. My mother has decreed no action be taken while she's abed. It's good you're here. Young prince, you're needed to patrol the skies on Vimax. Did you hear what I said? Jesus, come on, Damon. Come with me. I'll show you the true meaning of loyalty. Let's chill out here, Damon. This is a crappy situation, but come on. You don't want to sit around and wait to be killed, though. You swore an oath as knights of the King's Guard. Do you acknowledge the true line of succession? Yes. Yes, my prince. Yeah, they swore oaths to it. Uh-huh. Presenting you with a choice. Well, that's going to be an easy choice for me. Yeah, I imagine so. Oh, jeez. Swear in you your oath to Rhaenyra as your queen. Okay, I swear it. <laughs> yeah, that's not a hard choice. Yeah. If you swear fealty now, only to later turn your cloaks, know that you will die screaming. <laughs> oh, how interesting there. When she's in pain, the, her dragon's in pain. I was wondering what that was. That's, okay. that's Cyrex. Because okay. they're bonded, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh. This doesn't look good. No. Get out! You should not do this alone, Prince Let us help. Oh. Mm. Oh. Are you pulling it out? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> what is with the graphic births in this show? I don't know. Oh, the cord. It's wrapped around the neck. Jesus. It's a very dark episode so far. This has got to be the worst day of their lives right now. Right. They've, they've lost, lost everything. Their, she's lost her father. He's lost her brother. They both lost a child. Their crown has been usurped. They have nothing but this island and a handful of troops. Yeah. Grieve for one thing at a time, though, huh? Mm-hmm. You can't even go grieve for your father right now. They'd kill you if you got anyone near the body. Yeah. I wonder... It's Sir Eric. Look at that. Oh, he got the crown, too. How did he manage that? I swear to ward the queen with all my strength and give my blood for hers. Yep, that's your crown. Uh-huh. Ride at her side and defend her name and honor. Good for you. And then you like 500 more of you. All knights, yeah. Yeah. You know, the problem on the horizon here is that you're literally going to have brothers fighting brothers. He's, you know, at some point he's gonna be presented My queen. against his brother. Oh, yeah. And he's gonna have to fight him. That's what happens in a civil war, though. <clears throat> they needed a ray of hope here, though. Having the actual crown helps. 
Yeah. Gives you some legitimacy, if nothing else. That's such a great shot. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's an even better shot. I love the the look of that. She looks great in that crown, actually. Absolutely, with the with her guards around her. Yeah. What? I didn't cool. know the table could do that. I like that. That yeah. looks legit. Put some LEDs behind that. That'd be a yeah. nice decoration right there. I want a table like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big map of Texas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe not that one. Rhaenyra Targaryen, first of her name. Lady of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. It's official now. Yep. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> Sorry, we're not used to this kind of thing. Wine, my queen. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. You need everybody you can to get involved. So, yeah. Yeah. What of Storm's End and Winterfell? There has never lived a Stark who forgot an oath, and with House Stark, the North will follow. I hope so. Yeah. Your cause owns a power that has not been seen in this world since the days of old Valyria. Dragons. Yep. Damon, none of our dragons have been to war. There are also unclaimed dragons. Sea Smoke still resides on Drithmar. Vermithor and Silverwing dwell on the Dragon Mount. It's a lot of dragons. Then there are the three wild dragons, all of whom nest here. Oh no, don't deal with them wild dragons. I didn't know that was a thing. Here, at Harrenhal, we cut off the west, surround King's Landing with the dragons, and we could have every greenhead mounted on spikes before the fucking moon turns. Mm. Time is of the essence. Yes. A ship has been sighted offshore. A long galley and flying a banner of a three-headed green dragon. Alert the watchtowers, sight the skies. Oh boy. Looks like the hand has shown up. So they changed it to green, huh? They did. No, oh, they're firmly on a side over there. Kill him, Damon. Kill him right now. Well, this scene looks oddly familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Back in episode two. Well, here we are again. <laughs> Different circumstances. Mm-hmm. And still Damon. I've been directed to deliver her message only to Princess Rhaenyra. Where is the princess? She's coming. The same way, yeah. And we'll fly in. <laughs> can get right behind them. Burn them. Burn them all. She could. She could fry him right now. But yeah, let's have let's see if we can do talk before kill. Princess Rhaenyra. I'm Queen Rhaenyra now. And you all are traitors to the realm. Yeah. Look at the crown, buddy. Acknowledge Aegon as king. In exchange, his grace will confirm your possession of Dragonstone. Your sons by Prince Daemon will also be given places of high honor at court. Oh, <laughs> go really? to hell. I would rather feed my sons to the dragons than have them carry shields and cups for your drunken usurper to the king. There you go. Aegon Targaryen sits the Iron Throne. He was anointed by a septon of the faith before the eyes of thousands. Every symbol of legitimacy belongs to him. So what happens when you steal shit? Mm -hmm. You are no more hand than Aegon is king. Fucking traitor. He's been waiting for this for a long time, though. Grand Maester. Fuck is this? What is it? That was the page she ripped out in the first episode when we <coughs> were reading a book. And the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Queen Alicent eagerly awaits your answer. She could have her answer now, stuffed in her father's mouth, along with his withered. <laughs> Let's end this mama's <laughs> fart. Damn, Damon. to say this would be an easy fight mm -hmm. king's landing will have my answer on the morrow looks like cooler heads are going to prevail here for now viserys spoke often of the valyrian histories i know them well when dragons flew to war everything burned what's your father talking my father's dead that's a fair point to make though yeah and he chose me as his successor to defend the realm not cast it headlong into war well, the enemy have declared war what are you going to do about it Outsmart them. You need to chill out. We need to do the smart. I understand her concern about destroying the kingdom, but you gotta fulfill your duty here and take the throne. I know, but you can't just go, he you know, headstrong in there. You gotta do the smart like, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Are you not angry? Well, I should declare war because I'm angry. No, because it's your duty as queen to crush rebellion. I agree, but mm -hmm. still. You know my oath reaches beyond our personal ambitions. What? A song of ice and fire. The conqueror's dream. Sarah shared it with me when he named to me. Damon! My brother 
was a slave to his omens and portents. Anything to make his feckless reign appear to have purpose. Stop it, Damon. Dreams didn't make us kings. Dragons did. <laughs> He's not entirely wrong. No, but still. I never told you. <laughs> he never intended for him to be an heir. Mm -mm. Otherwise, he probably would have told him. He's alive. Mm, good for him. Your brother is also dead. In his haste to bury you and claim your seat, he stood before the king and denounced Lainor's sons as illegitimate. I know. It's a foolish thing to do. Damon took his head for it. Heedless ambition has always been a Valarian weakness. Good, learn from it. That one, in that case, it was headless ambition. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible <laughs> joke. <laughs> Destroys everything she touches. That girl is holding the realm together at present. Rhaenyra is the only one who's demonstrated restraint. That's a fair point to make. Yeah. Look, I we we agree that we things need to be taken care of, but I just want it to be done properly. Right. That's what matters. Yeah. Lord Corlys Valarian and his wife, the Princess Rhaenys Targaryen. He's on his feet. Good. Look at all these Valarians. Mm-hmm. You don't look too bad. Nah. I'm very sorry about your father, Princess. He was a good man. Where is Damon? There were other concerns which demanded the prince's attention. Like what? Right now? Defense. They're all talking about defense. <laughs> your declared allies? Too few to win a war for the throne. Well, we would also hope to have the support of houses Aaron, Baratheon, and Stark. All of them swore oaths to me. As did House Hightower. As did you. Lord Corliss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. This high tower treason cannot stand. You have the full support of our fleet and house. Good yes! Man. Good man. That's an ally. Mm hmm. You have a fleet, you have mobility. You have the largest you fleet in the me, world. Lord and you have more dragons. If war's first stroke is to fall, it will not be by my hand. You do not mean to act. Taking caution does not mean standing fast. I wish to know who my allies are. I'd like to know that too, honestly. Mm -hmm. So you can't strategize if you don't know who's, who's there when you need them. Oh yeah. Consequence of my near demise in the Stepstones is that we now control them. A total blockade of the shipping lanes will oh. be in place in days, if not already. There you go. They control the narrow sea. The narrow sea is ours. Oh, shit. We can cut off all seaborne travel and trade to King's Land. Oh, yeah, you can. We'll starve you I guys out. I should and patrol the gullet myself. You make this a naval battle, you make them their bitch. Mm -hmm. We must first secure the support of Winterfell, the Eyrie, and Storm's End. We should bear those mysteries. Dragons can fly faster than ravens. And then more convincing. Very true. Yeah, well, people, and so are people too. But yeah, but yeah, dragons are very convincing. A, a raven won't burn your life. Send us. The prince is right, your grace. Very well. All right, we got some plans here now. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. If you take this errand, you go as messengers. You must take no part in any fighting. Swear it to me now. I swear it. I swear it. Don't be the ones to start wars on your dragons. That's right. Why does he have this weird look in his face the whole time? It falls apart when you just look at him. I know. Lord Boros is an eternally proud man. You'll be honored to host a prince of the realm and his dragon. I hope so. Look at all these dragons leaving Dragonstone. That's a beautiful sight. Oh, yeah. Oh, here goes Lucerus and his little dragon. <laughs> Still ate you. Oh, I'm sure he was. <laughs> Look at him, though. <laughs> Looks like Harry Potter riding a dragon. <laughs> they could probably use some magic right about now. Sure. Oh, he's down in the dragon pits, I think. What are you up to? Oh, boy. Oh. It's like he's in the room with Medusa. Yes. Oh, oh God. Wow. Now that's a dragon. Jesus. Lord, the teeth on that thing. That's Vermithor. He is not one of whom to F with. Those eyes are dead eyes, man. So him and They've... Damon seem to understand each other. Those eyes have seen death. <laughs> this is the first time we're seeing Storm's End. 
It's been teased all through Game of Thrones, but this is the first time you're actually seeing it. Really? Looks nice, actually. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Some, somebody beat you to it. I bring a message to Lord Boris from the Queen. He's going to have to be in that same room with Aemond. Yeah, Aemond's grown quite a bit more than he has since then. Yeah, well, he was younger, too. This guy's like the John Wick of Targaryens. Yeah. The House of the Dragon does not seem to know who rules it. <laughs> what an awkward moment for this poor kid. Mm -hmm. This was not the encounter he was promised. Where's the bloody maester? <laughs> what, you can't read? <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> You're highborn and you can't read. That's pretty bad. Shame on you. I don't want you as an ally after all. I know, right? <laughs> Illiterate scumbag. <laughs> if I do as your mother bids, which one of my daughters will you wed? Whichever one you want. I'm already betrothed. So you come with empty hands. Tell your mother that the Lord of Storm's End is not some dog that she can whistle up at need to set against her foes. Well, that ended. Wait! My Lord Strong. Oh, really? I will not fight you. I came as a messenger. Fight would be little challenge. I want you to put out your eye. Ooh. It's payment for mine. It's interesting. I thought we settled this. One will serve. This has been settled. You got a big dragon for that. No, Viserys forced them to settle. Nothing is settled between them. No. Then you are craven as well as a traitor. Not here. Give me your eye, or I will take it, boss. Not in my hall. Thank you. Jesus. She did something, Take Prince right? Lucerus back to his dragon. Settle this another day. Yeah. See, there's plenty of time for that. <laughs> the weather got worse. And his dragon's gone. Oh. I don't know how he got out of there first, but his dragon's gone. The Hussein of Arrak, Likiri. What? Maybe you just stay there for the night. Is, the weather is kind of bad. Oh, this is a bad situation. Can't see anything out there. No. Oh my there god. He's right over you. That thing is massive. You don't stand a chance. Do not fight him. His tail is bigger than you are. Oh no! Oh man. Oh, he's just playing with you now. Better use your size and agility to get advantage, boy. Seriously, you need to get low now. Let's just say, you do have advantages being small. Use them. Sick fuck. Stick to that cliff. Use the train to your There thing. it is. He can't get in there. There you go. There you go. Good job. Now stay in there. I say just land at the bottom and wait. I say he can't just sit out there and wait for you forever. He's got to report back. Mm-hmm. He's got things to do. Good lord. No! What are you doing? Oh, they're both losing control of their dragons. Oh. What's up with that? Dragons are just doing... They're doing what they do. Eris is a moron. Oh. Well, that's pretty. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Good lord, it just ripped him in half. Are you serious? Oh, Eamon, what have you done? Well, it wasn't him, it was his dragon. It was him, he had no business going after him. See? You can tell from the look on his face that that wasn't his intention. Yeah, well that's because he's a dumbass kid. He has no idea, he just started a war. That was all Vagar. We'll talk about that in the afterthoughts. Yeah. That's her child, Jesus. So their worst day just keeps getting even worse. Well, I think it's another day now, but... It doesn't matter. This is the worst time in their lives. Period. There's no words. Mm-mm. Yep. Oh, boy. There's that resolve for the war now. That's a blood rage look. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. Well, you wanted a cliffhanger, you got one. It is on. Jeez, yeah, it is. 
that escalated in the worst way. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it did. Not only have the greens struck the first blow, they've struck a, a blow there's no going back from. Yeah, I mean, you literally killed a prince of the realm. Yeah. So you're sitting there trying to say, you know, we want to be friendly with the queen or, well, not with the official queen, but with Rhaenyra, and then you go and kill her son. Yeah, you pretty much ruined that. I wonder what the uh, consequences are going to be for Aemon when he gets home, because he's going to have to explain that. There's no hiding from this. Right. He's going to have to explain that to his mother, to Otto, mm -hmm. to everybody there. Otto probably won't care. He probably won't. He'll his be mother. like, hey, way to go. You got one down already. That's a good point. It's probably, it's probably going to be his first words to him. And mm -hmm. Laris will probably be in there saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. More on him in a minute here. Mm -hmm. But still. Yeah, I want to have an argument with you right now about whose fault that is. Okay. All right. Yes, you think so you think that that was all Vagar. You think that all the blame is going to Vagar in that situation. I don't think other people will see it that way. It was obvious that Eamon was just playing with him because he had plenty of opportunity to kill him if that was his intention. The fact is that both of them were losing control of their dragons. Agreed. You could see it in the situation. You now you can't really blame Eamon if his dragon goes off and kills somebody. You no, know, just like you would with like a like a, a dog, right? If you have a if you have a pet dog and it goes and bites somebody, you hold it against the dog, not the owner. So I'll say this to you partially on your side and partially not on this one okay mm -hmm. and here's what i'll say back in uh back in episode one remember what uh viserys was telling rhaenyra about the dragons mm -hmm. what was he saying is like the idea that we control these dragons is an illusion right and he's like they're a power that man should have never never trifled with well i mean that's an example perfect example right, right and, there and that, that proves his point but Aemon was so hell-bent on getting an eye for an eye, mm -hmm. if you will, that he took Vagar out to go terrorize this kid. And when that kid was trying to get away, and he did, mm -hmm. got away, Eryx came back and decided to defend itself instead. Mm -hmm. And then Vagar did what Vagar does as a result. Mm -hmm. Went after and tried to re-alpha the situation. Mm -hmm. And it did. The fault here lies, in my opinion, with Aemon for leaving and going to terrorize that kid. If he hadn't done that, hold on, mm -hmm. if he hadn't done that, they wouldn't be in that situation. No, and you're right. It was obviously a poor decision on his part to you know, take the situation that far in the first place. Yes. But again, going back to your point about Viserys and Rhaenyra, what they were discussing, who's to say anybody actually discussed that with Aemon? How would he know that he could lose control of his dragon? Then maybe he shouldn't be a dragon rider if he doesn't know the consequences but or the or all the or all the things you need to know. I'm gonna say he's proven in the last couple of episodes. He he just wants the power. He, he he's gonna do whatever he can to you know get what he wants. The the other thing yeah. the other thing I can think of though to your point is we saw earlier in the episode how the dragons sympathize with their riders. So if if Vagar felt enough of Aemon's you know bloodlust, maybe it did drive him to do something. That's a that's an interesting point. Mm -hmm. But his bloodlust should be taking a back seat to to uh, diplomacy right now. But we know we didn't. We saw it right there in that hall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, he was trying to he it, was trying to alpha that kid. I mean, it's probably a sub, it's probably a subconscious thing. Like Aemon probably realized, yeah, I shouldn't be doing this. But subconsciously, he wanted blood. Vagar felt that and acted on it. Yeah, and it's one of those things where it's like he's really young right now, mm -hmm. and his emotions got the better of him mm -hmm. in that situation. I'm like, and I'm looking at the Lord of uh, what is his name, Oris Baratheon. Yeah, I think is his name. I'm looking at him like, is this enough for you to, at the very least, remain neutral now to know that these guys are pretty bloodthirsty and they're not making good decisions? You should probably stay out of it. You know, is what I'm thinking. But at the same time, Aemond also looked like he was there. He was going to get himself a Baratheon wife. Okay? Yeah. Um, he was standing with her. But also, hold on, I'll make make this quick. Mm -hmm. But but also, it's like, you've won. You've won the ally. Baratheons are on your side. If you want an eye, there will be another time, I'm sure. There's plenty of fighting coming. Mm -hmm. Do it later. That's not the time. I was going to say, worst case scenario, if you know you force Rhaenyra to give up, you can probably find some way to meet up with Luke. Lucerus later on and just take the eye. Put him in a fighting pit and say, okay. Yeah, I mean, you'll, you you guys are young. You have plenty of time to you know, even that out. Yeah. There was no need to force it right then and there. But going back to what you were saying about Baratheon, I don't know if he could have stayed neutral. Like you said, yeah, he was getting the marriage to the throne through his daughter. But then the other thing you have to consider is your reputation. If you have a reputation as an oath breaker, oh, you God. have nothing to gain for that. Well, he's already going to gain an, a reputation as, that, or as an oath breaker because he's breaking well, it. Depends. I mean, if he's supporting the current throne, then they're going to say, well, what are you talking about? He, he maintained his oath to the king. Yeah, but that oath was made to Rhaenyra as well. Well, it's his father's oath, though, so technically he had no such oath. Yeah, it was his father's oath. You're right. This is a tricky situation here. It is. It's, 
And they always seem to be, and mm -hmm. I think that's part of the point, mm -hmm. is to let them know that it's like there's going to be no easy way out of this for anybody. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be no easy answers, and it's gonna only going to get messier. But the other thing to consider here now, now that the Greens have struck a blow like this, if you thought that was an eye for an eye, I would imagine the Blacks are going to have something to say about that. Oh, you know. And they're going to want some retribution for that. I think they're going to want a child for a child. Probably so. Oh, yeah. Not to mention that's going to be the easiest target anyways. Yeah. So, but all, all things considered, you know, not to diminish what happened to Lucerius there, that was probably one of the lesser losses they could have taken in that situation. You still have Damon, you still have the bigger dragons, you still have the older children. I mean, obviously it's going to suck for Rhaenyra and the whole family, but you still have you, you still have a decent amount of strength to go through with the original plan. It leaves Driftmark now without an uh, obvious heir to the throne, well, which is an issue too. But I mean, yes, can they can they easily pass off a th uh, somebody you already had, you know? And you had and you had a marriage pact mm -hmm. so that you could ensure that there was going to continue to be heirs to that throne. Mm -hmm. So well, it's could... not going to. I don't think it's going to affect their uh, their ally their ally there. It's probably only going to make them even more bloodthirsty now. Right, because they've already lost two kids, and now the next throne, the next heir is gone too. Yes. I mean, couldn't they just pass it off to their daughter then? I mean, she was married to him anyway, and they are supporting Rhaenyra as a female heir to a throne. So. I mean, I suppose they could. I don't see why not. Yeah. Like I said, I wanted to go back to Laris here. Mm -hmm. We saw those dragons lose control. Remember, I, I, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking he's possibly a green seer mm -hmm. and that he can warg into animals. Mm -hmm. Can he warg into dragons? That'd be interesting. That you, would actually explain a lot. I wonder, you let us know in the comments, fam, if you're watching up to this point. Mm -hmm. By all means, let us know. Do you think it's possible that Laris warged into the dragons and made them do what they did to start the war? That'd be an interesting turn of events because I made the comment during the show, you know, they could really use some magic right about now, just kind of jokingly, but realistically, you haven't seen that much magic used in this show and we know it exists in this world. The dragons are proof of it. Yeah, well not, well, not just that, though. Like, if you remember what Game of Thrones, you had the priestesses of Ashai and the priests and all them. Oh, yeah, they're, they're making special They're magic. making flaming swords and shadow assassins and all this. We've seen, like, none of that in this well, show. Well, they're also, they're also bringing people back from the dead. Yeah. Many times over. Yeah. I know you've seen nothing. There's been nothing here. It exists. It's there. If it's if it was in that time, mm -hmm. it's damn. It's for damn sure in this time. Yeah. Because the dragons are living proof of magic. Mm -hmm. If they're breathing natural fire from their guts, yeah, there's magic in this world. Yeah, so, I'm just kind of surprised we haven't seen any at all. I, well, at I, least not that we're aware of. I think I'm not surprised yet. I mean, it's too early, mm -hmm. and we're trying to establish this what's going to be going down. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you'll ever see that magic, though. I don't think that's the point of the story. So. I mean, that's fine if it's not. I'm just, I'm just kind of curious. I wanted to see them expand more on that part of the world. Okay, I understand. Nonetheless, uh, I loved this episode. Mm -hmm. I think it was a great episode. I liked that we had a perspective from the Greens, and now we have one from the Blacks. Mm -hmm. But now it's time to choose sides if you're in Westeros, and unfortunately, that's what this, the true victims of this are going to be the people that are just trying to live their lives, because mm -hmm. they're gonna be starving from this, they're gonna lose their land, their land's gonna get salted from all the battle and from all the and from all the uh, the fire destruction. Oh yeah. Uh, they're gonna lose their homes, they're gonna lose their children. There's gonna be a lot of innocent death in this. And there's going to be a lot of dragons lost as well. Oh, there's no a doubt lot of about that. Targaryens are going to die. Mm -hmm. That's on the horizon for sure. A lot of people you care about are about to die. So, oh, it wouldn't be a Game of Thrones series without that. No, but I, I, but I think they did a great job in this first season. Yeah, I love, I love the way they're at the end too. How the music changes with Anira's mood as she learns about what happened to her son. Oh, she looks like it's very solemn, and you hear the tempo start picking up, and you just see her turn around and just. That she's trying to kill somebody. Yeah, yeah. she started. She she's got that Targaryen fire starting to rage up now. Mm -hmm. That's a problem too. I mean, but it's like, yeah, she wants she wants a retribution there or justice, I suppose. Mm -hmm. She's probably going to get some, but even Lord knows they need it. Yes. At this point, they need something good to go to go well for them. Yeah. Getting Corliss as an ally was a good start. Is is very good start. But it, definitely in terms of plans, because now they have a plan for attacking King's Landing and, you know, ending this war very quickly, potentially. They have a very powerful navy to do it. But so. again, any any victory you can gain even before that to gain other allies is going to be useful. Oh, yeah. Because the more you spread them out, the, the easier things are for you. I'm excited for the future mm -hmm. to see, like, what's... The What's the naval situation going to look like for the show going forward? Because that's Lord Corliss's thing here, is navy, naval power. Which we really haven't seen a lot used. No, and you're going to have to show it in this next one because there are naval battles. Mm -hmm. All right, and yes, the the Lannister 
the Lannisters do have a naval fleet. I don't think it's as powerful, but I think they will be a formidable force. It's probably going to be like the realm, we just keep building fleets and showing up and causing trouble. Probably. I, I think I think, uh, I think the Greens are going to have to look for some allies elsewhere if they want to if they want to take on Corlys at all. So Interesting. At least from a naval perspective. Mm -hmm. From a ground perspective... Like the Triarchy? Yeah. I yeah. think you can expect that the Starks mm -hmm. and the veil will join the causes of the blacks mm -hmm. which is great news and i think it's possible that as a result the riverlands follow mm -hmm. problem is whenever they're fighting it's always in the riverlands and they're going to be the ones to suffer the hardest mm -hmm. they're going to suffer lots of problems this heron hall is going to be a big point of contention well, don't live in the riverlands people huh? yeah yeah <laughs> you better believe heron hall is going to be a big point of contention though Mm. going forward and I personally am like if you want it so bad you can keep it <laughs> alright we'll find another place to stay to stock up we'll just make sure you can't leave it let's build a castle next door place is cursed <laughs> whoever owns it they die you know I don't want it and that's kind of I, I want to see if that's going to be a theme going forward too be like you know what I never liked you lord so and so I'm going to give you hair and all right overall uh as a season, it was great because I get myself thinking about the first episode mm -hmm. and to where this thing ended. It mm -hmm. like couldn't be any more different from compared to the fir first to the last. It's such a different thing now because time has passed. The king has another king has died, mm -hmm. and the kids are now the main players in this. So definitely, the the characters' personalities have changed drastically. Because you go into this from the beginning thinking, okay, these are you know very rational, reasonable people who are fit to lead the country. And then as it gets towards the end, you see them being ruled more and more by their emotions and by their greed and their ambition. Oh, yeah. And that's basically why we are where we are, is because eventually their rationale and their loyalty to the kingdom just kind of fell to the side. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, it's going to be interesting to see what happens going forward, I think. But I really enjoyed how the thing started mm -hmm. and then how it ended. I had... No complaints about this season. I mean, there, there are things that I think would have been nice to have, but you know, if it's not part of the story, it's not part of the story. Anyways. Sure. I don't know if it's part of the story yet. Mm. We'll see. This is, you know, we're, we're reaching the end of my knowledge about <laughs> about the lore here. So oh, okay. Going forward, I have, I kind of know what to expect. Mm -hmm. I kind of know who's going to potentially be killed or whatnot. We know a Targaryen wins. Nobody wins. <laughs> Well, I mean, somebody's got to sit on the throne. Somebody will sit on the throne, but I mean, nobody's going to... They call gonna, themselves a Targaryen. But nobody's going to win this thing. It's a reason it's called the Dance of the Dragons. Mm. They uh, they wipe each other out, practically. And it's it's a sad thing. I mean, this this tale, more than anything, is a tragedy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And if you've watched Game of Thrones, you already kind of know what's going to happen to some of these characters. Because they do mention how they died in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Don't go watch it, fam. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm but watching it now, now. I say, Joff Joffrey's a big stu a study of this stuff in Game of Thrones. Mm, he must have followed Otto. I don't know who he followed. Well, he can follow Hightower. But still, <laughs> as far as Joffrey's concerned, the Lannisters light the way. But still. <laughs> that's, uh, by the way, that's the name of an episode. It's also the words for House Hightower. Mm. We light the way. Now we know why that episode was called. Was called, but still. Yeah, your flaming forces will be lighting the way shortly. Ooh, I don't want to see the death, but that's why we're here. You know, is to see is to see the story unfold. I say it's not so much about the death as it is about the death being consequences for other things. Yeah, right. We need to see how it goes though, because this will shape the world that they, uh, as you know it, in Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, folks, I enjoyed this season so much. I hope you enjoyed it too. To the next one. To the next one, guys. To season two. Here it comes, guys. It's coming soon, okay? We will be ready for it. I promise you that. So, But folks, if you enjoyed this, I hope you'll leave a like. And if you're brand new to this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps us grow. And hit the bell so you can receive notification every time we drop a video. Should you feel compelled to leave us a piece of your mind, please do so in the comments. And check us out on our socials, guys. We're on Instagram and TikTok. You can find us over there. Or if you want, just chat with me over on uh, over on here on YouTube, guys. I'm happy to chit-chat and hear your thoughts. But until next time, this has been Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. <laughs>